there, this is Sephiria and welcome to the Gamer 50 Plus channel. Tonight we are going to be looking at uh, the next stage in House Flipper. So beyond the absolute basics of how to do things, it's the stage at which you start to purchase property and do those properties up and negotiate a price. So we're going to be looking at that tonight and in two formats, one further down the track and one earlier in the, in the piece when you very first buy a property. So what's available and what you have to do in order to get that property to a point at which it's ready for sale. And that you won't make a loss. <laughs> very important, we don't want to be making a loss. <laughs> Right, so uh, let's move on with this. Now let's go back into, I've got two, I've been playing for a little while, um, getting the second one up to speed. And um, the first one is from, I've been playing on this, progressing it so that we can have a look at some sales that I attempted and uh, what, you know, what people had to say about them and so on. So I'm going to show you that first. So let's go straight ahead into the ending and look at what happens and then let's go back to the start, okay? So, all right, I'm just going to get into the chat here so that I can see you and, um, and what, if anybody would like to say hello, please do. Um, don't feel pressured, of course, in my chat, it's very relaxed and I am happy for people to simply just watch if that's all you want to do. That's fine. So um, if you have any questions, I will definitely try to answer them for you to the best of my ability. Now, I have two cats in here at the moment and they're very playful. So hopefully they won't try to eat my leads. <laughs> they think they're toys. I'll try not to wiggle too much. <laughs> ah, cats, such a joy, but then when they're around electronic equipment, it's a little bit stressful. Okay, let's move on. So, 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 I was going to this one here and I want to go, uh, let's continue my game and um, let's see where I was up to and what. I was going to have to do what I have, where I've been, and what I need to do next. Okie dokie. Several carpets on the floor can work wonders. Yes, they like pictures and carpets. If you didn't know, you know now. <laughs> so make sure you have lots of lovely pictures and some carpets on the floor and so on. And, uh, of course, there are DLCs for this, and if you want to do the gardens, you have to actually purchase the gardens DLC, uh, which is around $50 Australian. I'm not sure on the US price. You'll have to have a look at the Microsoft store and um, uh, or at your local game store. Um, and there is an Apocalypse DLC and Luxury as well. So there are a few yeah i had a problem with this window i took the window out and then i had trouble getting it in so i just stuck that one there in the meantime but i have placed a large window there there's nothing in the back at the moment there is and i've got those windows so i did replace the windows that's one thing i did um, I've got to fix that. <laughs> I'll have to like unpack everything from the area and put it back in there and put everything back. Oh, this is my delightful place. It's all, it's in red, white and grey and it's kind of snazzy. I like it. It's, you know, it's just, it's like the, your little office area. So I made it like an office where you have a coffee machine and a microwave. <laughs> so, you know, who has time for cooking, right? When you're in an office, you just like whiz it in the microwave. Isn't that what people do? <laughs> Not that I think that's very healthy, but anyway. And then you've got this wild looking um, fridge. And uh, of course, some, some comfy seats. And of course, the cat wants to go out now, just as I start. Anyway. Oh yes, and that's my little icon um, from my Xbox. 
on there and uh, I took some photographs and turned them into pictures photos of this room and I turned them into pictures and put them up on the wall which you can do um, when you go to this screen here and if you look at the base of the screen you can see it says gallery camera if you go to camera uh, whatever you're looking at you click this little icon here and you can take a photograph and then when you go to gallery uh, you can click on any of these and create a painting out of them and it costs you a certain amount of money though so do be aware um, so these are yeah these are some some houses that I did uh, different different things that I, I finished different projects um, bits and pieces like that little bathroom there and so on I just took some photos and um, just bear with me one moment I've just got to let this cat back out again it's a neighbor's cat they come here for cuddles and toys and and a little bit of a feed because they are neglected and I'm not sure if they've been abandoned but anyway I'm trying to find out anyway just one moment I'll be back with you in just a moment Okay, I'm back. So, um, thanks for waiting. You're on the other end there. Okay. Just want to hop into um, my stream manager. There we go. And uh, that way I can just watch the chat from here. There we go. Okay. Reminds me to turn off notifications on my phone, that is, because otherwise it makes a loud beep. All the things you have to do. Goodness. Okay, so here we are. And I just noticed that's actually navy. I wanted that to be black, that's actually navy blue. So, ah, oh, the things that you just don't notice the first time round. For some reason, I thought it said dark, but it was, uh, yeah, anyway. Should, I, I thought it would be dark grey, but it turned out to be something else. <laughs> Live and learn. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, now, these are the jobs I now have. Um, I've done quite a few, so I still have um, all of these jobs if I need to earn money. And that's how you earn money on the side, okay? Um, not just from, because you don't always get a good price for a house, just you might like it, but but they have specific requirements and often you you know might have a problem uh, because we're not doing the gardens and in this base game in the base game you don't do gardens once you start doing gardens it like whacks another 10,000 on your profit but until you start to do gardens you basically your profits pretty pretty low you don't make a lot of money I don't reckon so um, as long as you know as long as you are profiting and not losing money so you're not expending too much money without getting a return um, that's the main thing so if we look at, uh, at my browser here you'll see that I have purchased this house here which is the foodies house 
All right, now it's got six rooms. It's quite an ambitious project. It has uh, one floor and it's a little bit grotty. Of course, they all are. So I have basically just stripped this house and done some plastering to touch up the walls to fix them. And that is all that I've done so far. I've cleaned up all the mess, sold all the stuff that I don't need. Now I have sold three houses. Um, once you make a sale, you can look. So my very first one was the camping bungalow. And I can look at that and see how I did with that. I um, can look at these, these figures right here. And I can see that that was the price, 35, 35 for seven. And then uh, my renovation cost says minus 252, I think it's more, but, <laughs> and I sold it for 44. So I made a profit of $3,770.56, which is not like brilliant. If I'd done the garden as well, if I had the garden DLC, I could have done more with the outside of the house and more with the guard, it would have added another 10 grand on that. So anyway, that was my very first one that I tried to do. I then had a go at this one, the burned house. And you can see that uh, I have, I spent, oh yeah, I actually, yeah, before I forget, let me tell you this too. It tells you how long you spend. So I spent actually four hours of my life doing this. <laughs> four hours and 14 minutes and 41 seconds. <laughs> Look at that, four, one, four, four, one. <laughs> What's with that number? But anyway, um, the house price is, is what, is it 30, I can barely read it from here, so tiny, but um, 36, I think. 36 and anyway I did a renovation cost 571.65 it's a lot more than that like but anyway if that's what it shows but if I actually added it up it was way way more um, you know because I think I put things in the house that were like a thousand dollars or something <laughs> but um, I sold the house for 44 which was I tried to negotiate it so I got a profit of six thousand seven. 700 which is not terrible actually that, that's double what I got in the first one so I did pretty pretty well on this I can't really complain I think I did I think I did fine on that one this one not so good um, I, I didn't think I did well on the abandoned house I spent six hours that's like way too long and I uh, it was it started at 37 six um, or 37 seven if you want to even that up, uh, like uh, round it up. So the renovation cost, look at high, how high it is. It was $1,735.44. A bit too much, right? <laughs> so uh, my sale was only 45. So I only got $2,890.38, which is, is pretty low, but you can't, you can't do you know brilliant jobs every time even if you like it they might not like it there's something missing i ended up the problem with this was uh they kept saying oh i want a spa in my property i want a spa i want a spa and it's so small i could barely fit one so i ended up creating this cubicle in the bedroom <laughs> which was really bizarre and i was not going to blow another thousand on an air conditioner i thought just open the window you know so I created like this, uh, there was no room in the bathroom. So I just created this weird little uh, cubicle. <laughs> anyway, um, they were happy with it. They were like, yay, a spa. But then I just, uh, it raised the price a bit, but not enough. Not enough for the amount of effort I went to trying to squeeze. A, I did this like stacked spa with the, the steps, like the, the benches were going up like steps so you'd kind of climb up and around and then there was a bench sort of towards the top and um where you could lie down um rather than you know that the standard little just a square <laughs> i have been in a stepped spa before so I, I i thought i'd give it a shot but uh it was a bit chunky and seriously 
<laughs> that was not my best effort. So anyway, you can look at your buyers on your buyers are on your tablet, all right? And you'll see it's here. I'll just put the circle on it. There. Um, so where my cursor is, click on there and it will say who has bought a house. So these people have not bought a house from me yet. Chang has not. Uh, Dolan bought the camping bungalow. And this is what he had to say. He liked all these things but he needed a separate office and there's no place for his documents and books. Now I found the secret to that. So in, in doing this what you discover is certain items of, fur of furniture are compulsory to solve certain problems. All right. So I found an item of furniture that fixes that issue um, and he hasn't bought anything from me. Uh, Jack hasn't bought anything. Jimmy has bought the abandoned house. Now I'd like to have a sauna. What did I say? A spa idea. I was saying a spa. Ah, uh, scratch that. A sauna. Sauna was what I meant, not a spa. A stacked spa. Well, that's an interesting idea. A stacked spa. <laughs> so you kind of climb up steps and you've got, you know, separate little spa bars all the way up or something. That, that sounds like something from a, you know, a theme park, park or a. Uh, like a fun park maybe <laughs> so anyhow a sauna oh gosh okay come on brain work brain <laughs> tell my brain to work so uh with with the tv in my bedroom i wouldn't fall asleep okay so uh, people wanted a television and uh, the only place i could put a television was up on the wall in the bedroom right so sometimes saying i want a, a tv in the bedroom and then my actual buyer, the guy who was really most interested, didn't like that. So you won't be able to please everybody every time. That's just how it's going to go. Um, expensive equipment impresses friends, right? I'm not sure what he's on about there. So I think I might have been a bit cheap on something because I, I didn't want to blow any more money. <laughs> um, and he doesn't like stuff from the Great Depression. I, I don't know. I'm not sure what, what I put there, what, what I placed. Some items are period items. So you've got to be a little bit careful um, about placing those things. No houses bought. Uh, Raphael, he, he, got, he was the one who bought the burned house. And um, I didn't tell you I wanted a sauna. See, this is the thing. They all want a sauna. And you've got such a squishy space to do everything. So you feel like you can't kind of get everything in there, right? <laughs> a place for magazines, there's no TV. This is the one. There's no TV. Not good. What the speakers? He likes to have television and speakers. No TV in the bedroom, minus one point. So he's the one who wants a TV in the bedroom, plus speakers, um, a place for his magazines. Um, a private space only for himself, which I, I don't know what does he mean by that, you know, um, I, I'm not sure, he wants his own room or something, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't get it, <laughs> a personal trainer, so maybe, we, maybe it's like a little gym room or something that could be created, but I did make a good profit, so he was easy to negotiate with. Okay, so that's what it looks like once you move further along. One thing to uh, show you is the kind of properties that you can look at once um, I'm back down to 45, I need to do some jobs, get some money up, um, and I need to do up and sell the house that I have. But because the next one along is 58, so you start to get some very interesting properties. If we look room 404, Okay, so we've got an apartment this time, and it's eighty three nine. So it's actually pretty expensive, I would say. <laughs> uh, you know, for an apartment, you'd want to make it quite flashy to really, you know, get your money back on that. Uh, I'm not too sure about that. I'd, I'd want to have a lot of extra money up my sleeve. The decorated house, you can have a look at this one. It is two floors and it's got four rooms. That sounds a bit odd. Um, again, two floors with four rooms. And then we've got this unusual alleyway of lights, which is um, 
yeah, quite quite a different looking um, place. <laughs> so that's a whole other project of its own. And isn't this nice? There's a little turtle house. It's just very cute. So we've got this project here too. But look at the, the cost of it. So you're really going to want to have a little bit of extra money from your jobs in the bank and from your previous sales. And once you've got a bit more money up, then uh, you can really attack this project and get a better profit for it. Okay. Uh, so, oh, I will show you a few more actually, you might be interested. So uh, what else have we got? Hmm. Uh, the want to flip. I don't know what the want to flip is all about. Uh, let's have a look at it. Oh, it's just a house, right? Uh, one floor, five rooms. So yeah, uh, there's a person for a family or uh, for an investor for a rental. The seller's house. Eight. Is that six or eight rooms? Yeah, this is a large one. Oh, wow. Ham, 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 burr, burr. <laughs> they can't spell. <laughs> I'm not sure what's on about that. What that's on about? But um, clearly they need to <laughs> brush up on their spelling. Anyway, uh, and what have we got here? The hacker loft. Now that that's kind of interesting too. So you've got four rooms to deal with there, and you've got this upward staircase and um, and this um current, sorry staircase going to the second floor, balcony kind of situation. Uh, it depends what you want to turn it into, I guess. Um, oh, this is a funny one. Look, everything is pink. So you've got this one here, which is like gaudy. Ugh. Just ugh, in your face, a bit, a bit over the top. There is, in fact, or was in Australia, a property uh, <laughs> that that was all pink like that. <laughs> So the thing is, these houses are often based on um, real, real houses, which is interesting too, you know. Um, so you've got uh, this one here, let it snow. And that is once you start really working up some money, you can see that you can purchase a, a very fancy place. And uh, we have got 17 rooms, look at that, 17 rooms. So that is a big project that will take a lot of hours to do. And the funny one is a house on the moon. You can buy a house on the moon <laughs> for $482,978.88. <laughs> How about that? So <laughs> if you really, really are a tripper, you can buy the house on the moon and hope to make a profit that somebody else would actually like to live on the moon and the final thing here is a castle wow so it's very dark in this castle by the look of it it needs some decent lighting a little bit too dark but um you've got 20 rooms and you've got three floors <laughs> So there is a lot to do, okay, great deal to do in that castle. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I am in fact going to go uh, out of here and back to the main menu and hop into the other character that I've got, the other playthrough. And we're going to go back to the start and go to one of those earlier ones and let's see what uh, what the deal is. See if I can get it done and um, and how much we can get for it. Hopefully something. All right, so what I want to do is go here and choose a profile. So you can create a new profile if you want to at any point. So let's go to here and uh, continue the game. Now this is a brand spanking new character. And this character, so 
she's having a, a sip of some decaf. And uh, this, this one is, still has a lot to do. It's only just washed the outside of the office actually. So there's plenty to do. Uh, there's enough money to purchase. So nothing's been done here yet, you can see. Uh, yeah, because I only just acquired that. So this front door can be replaced actually. That's one thing I can do straight away. And then, need to do a job and then we'll buy the property, then do a job and then go and start doing the property up. Let's, uh, let's go for it that way. So back to the store. And we want to find doors. to yeah probably have the because I'm doing the American elm in this house so let's see how this one works so you just strike it out like that and then go use and it um puts the door in so I'm just gonna stick with that for now okay so it's three hundred dollars so I put these blinds up but I haven't done anything else in here yet just cleaned and I've got my paint and you know what, I didn't even have a paint roller. Um, I went off and did some jobs and got myself a paint roller and it's going to be, let's just do it here so you can see it, blue. So blue with that colour, it's probably a little darker than I was hoping so hmm, you don't know sometimes so you get going and kind of do a bit more of the room but uh, especially with the lights on it can look a little different let's put the light on oh that's not too bad so that's what i wanted to do more like a, a an ocean like a day at the beach i wanted my place this place to be like a day at the beach the other one was very dynamic with the with the red and black and gray but uh, i thought i'd kind of do almost like a beach hut you know with this one so um more of a a breezy theme Oh, that's going to come up quite nicely, I think. So, anyway, I won't bother with any more of that just now. We need to get snapping. So, I'll show you what I'm up to. I have, um, there we go, 36,000 in the bank. Okay, and this first, this one here is 35. So I can purchase it, the camping bungalow, I can purchase it and get cracking and I have to do some jobs. Because otherwise I won't be able to afford to, um, uh, I won't be able to afford to do much with it. Okay, so I'll be cutting it too fine. Um, so the more money you have in, you know, in order to renovate, the better, if you can. Uh, just have something up your sleeve. But I would love to do the garden. However, I don't have the garden DLC. And if you're just playing this, um, on the base game as I am, then you can only do up the house. At, you know, in these early stages, that's all you can do. You can't do the, the garden. And this will give you, see this is in tutorial mode still. So you can see the thumbnails of the buyers from time to time, they will comment on your actions. Pay attention especially to those on the top. The higher they are, the more they are willing to pay for this house. All right, and that's only what they want. Um, and this person at the bottom, what a mess. Ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it is. It's a, it's a terrible mess. We are going to go and fix that, right? <laughs> so let's, uh, let's get, get going and get fixing it. So, yeah, you just want to go and clear all this crap <laughs> um, away. And mm, I'm not sure we can pull the weeds yet. There are only weeds we need to pull out. No, it's not going to let me do anything just yet. I think further along it actually actually get the ability. But anyway, if we open this up, we can see, yep, okay, it's a bit grotty. Not too bad. Seen much worse than that. There's a scary cobweb there that's definitely got to go. I don't like spiders. Well, I don't like... I don't like spiders that come into your house and jump around. That's how about that? Big tarantula type ones. Other spiders, yeah, I don't mind too much. As long as they're not too close to me. 
<laughs> that's a deal, you know? It's a, it's a proximity thing. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, so it's actually not too bad, you know? It just needs, it needs paint, um, it needs cleaning. And if you see the mini map at the top there, top right, you'll see all the little black bits, right? That's what we've got to clean. And we need to clean the outside plus the inside. So just try to make sure you get all of those because that will lower the um, sale price. If you uh, if you don't, you are not going to make as much money. So we might actually do the outside first, just get to eliminate that. So don't don't have to uh, be searching for something that isn't actually there on the inside. So let's just clean the outside, and all you have to do is just aim at it. And you'll see they're starting to comment on the left. We're starting to get some comments already. We're going to clean the windows. Okay, let's open them up here. There we go. Um, that one's a bit tricky because of the bush in the way. So let's see if I can get it. Can I reach? I have to get a ladder. It's a bit awkward. I might try to do it from here. If that works. Oh, just on the tail end. Okay. A little bit fiddly. Okay, and this one. A little bit problem with that one too. Let's try here. There we go, that's fixed it. Alright, so clearly I've got um you can also put on your little headlamp which helps and um, this is telling me I still have something maybe it's the door or just inside the door so let's try to get rid of that okay, it's this and just to be sure this so that I know it's not on the outside okay and probably this window. Some cobwebs. So yeah, going in, go inside and outside because that way, you know, you kind of eliminate everything. And otherwise, it gets it can be a little confusing about where it is. Why is it not coming? I have to aim at the wall, I think. Might just want to this pair. There we go. Okay. Get rid of this copy. That's pretty awful. Okay, so. So we're kind of eliminating the issues here. And that's the rest of that is outside, I think. So the window needs done. There we go, so there's two outside. This window looks despicable. It's not gonna clean. All right, well this is uh, particularly disgusting as well. So uh, where are we going up here? I wanna try to clean up so that I can differentiate it between outside and inside. Lots of cobwebs. Looks like no one was here for quite a while. Went camping and didn't come back. <laughs> Those shelves just have to go. <laughs> they're, they're not going to clean, they're just disgusting. Uh, something out there. Still a few bits and pieces, but anyway, we'll get to it. Try to get the main stuff done. It's a bit fiddly. I, I find it just flicks around a bit on the um, Xbox controller. It, yeah, <laughs> can be a little bit annoying. It's better once you um once your skill level goes up, it's not so bad. But in these early stages, it's a bit frustrating trying to get the aim right sometimes. <laughs> just drives you a bit batty. Okay, uh, yeah, 
is something I found that <laughs> I don't know, just clearing everything. Attack it all! Now, the light I'm looking, there is something there, I think. Right. What am I missing? I'm missing something. It's just here. I'm on it. It's not clearing up. Who knows? Could be outside. Yep. Not outside. It's a mystery. Well, I'll have to try to find that one, but I'm going to keep moving on. Get the outside done. Um, they like a clean house, you'll find that. Uh, nobody likes it if you leave any mess whatsoever. So, boring as it seems, it's an essential part of getting your house ready for sale. Clean it up. I wonder, just as an experiment, you know, what it would be, how much they would, uh, how much they would pay you for, you know, the cleaned house above the actual purchase price. <laughs> Could turn out to be a good way to make money, just clean it and sell it. <laughs> just fix PowerPoints, you know, a few basic things, <laughs> and sell it. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Much faster than spending hours and hours and hours. So yeah, it's good that you can see how long you're spending on each one, I think. You know, it helps you to, to keep track of like what was worth it and what wasn't. Because uh, you can get absorbed in a project and it, it's not necessarily going to, to be of any benefit to, you know, continue on that track. <laughs> Why is it telling me there's something here? There, ah, oh, here. It's got to be the window. Surely. No, up here. Oh, there we go. It's yawning. Okie dokie. Oh, almost there. Okay. It's one more thing. Here's some. Still trying to find it. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's that. That thing there. Do I get it? I do. And there's something up here. I don't seem to be able to find what that is. Yeah, I'm right there. And it's not. It looks like it's inside, but when I go inside, I can't see it. It's going to be some kind of cobweb or something. I'm on it, apparently. Okay, that's a bobber. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's slightly out of whack. It does look like the welcome mat's hiding something nice. Let's move that. Let me just give this a going over, just in case. It does look like it's there. Is that it there? There's something. No. What's that? That's a mess, isn't it? Okay, I'm a bit baffled as to what on earth this is, um, but anyway. Okay, well we're going to get rid of trash, that's the next thing, and uh, we've got some trash here. So let's just get rid of all that. Uh, we don't want trash, what's this? Holds to pick up, yep. What a clean home, they're happy, yeah, I'm not because I know there's still something that I haven't got. I don't know where it is, but I know it's there. 
and you can see what you can see the uh, items. Yeah, there we go. Let's go to the boxes. I was telling you there's something. I just don't know what. What is it? Is it behind this desk? <laughs> I don't remember this in the last one, but maybe. Perhaps it's under there. I'm willing to try. It doesn't look like I'm even on it, actually. Yep, got me. Don't know. Looks like a little cobweb, but I, I can't see it. I'll have to look outside and see. Okay. What the? Yeah, I know. It's there, right? <laughs> you can see the marker, but there doesn't seem to be anything there. Like, there's nothing dirty. Where is it? So this is part two. We're actually, um, we're selling, this is a house we're doing up and we're actually selling it. So, um, yeah, <laughs> that's what's going on. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's weird, isn't it? <laughs> I think what I'll do actually uh, is, let's just start selling stuff. So, yep, we don't want all this crap. Let's, let's just get rid of it. Um, don't want any of it. They're going to start complaining. Oh, I need a bed. I need a, a, this thing, that thing. Oh, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> okay, did it disappear? <laughs> Look, it disappeared. That was it. It was the welcome mat. I had to actually get rid of the welcome mat. That was the complaint. Now, this is actually still dirty. I do have to clean this. Ta da! All right, that's what I like to see. Now I'm going to get rid of all this business. We're not keeping it. No. So you actually get uh, a little bit of money back for the items in the house. Yeah. I don't want the kitchenette thing. I'm going to make my own. So get rid of this. All right. Get rid of the fridge. All of this stuff. So we need to paint and do the flooring, paint the ceiling, fix the lights. Uh, we've got a smoke alarm there. I haven't found those in the uh, in the buying uh, in the the shop yet. I'm not sure where they are. So uh, get rid of the mirror. Leave those there for now, because otherwise we just don't have like a ridiculous amount of complaints. So the next thing you've got to do, of course, is clean the windows. They love it when you clean windows. Potential buyers get very excited about cleaning windows. <laughs> it's definitely worth doing. <laughs> So yes, tonight, um, I might as well tell you, I have two more games coming up, noon, but they weren't quite ready yet. So I decided I'd do a part two on this, and the reason is because there is a lot to it. So we didn't really get through everything last time, um, not to this stage of actually, you know, going through the negotiations and the selling house and, and so on. So we're going to do a quick job on this and <laughs> see what happens. But... Um, the uh, other game I'm looking at is uh, about uh, medieval. It's a medieval game again, <laughs> because why not? You know, it, it's all yeah, very fantastical and what have we? Um, and it is renovating castles, <laughs> and you get to build your own castle eventually. But I'm not far enough into the game to really be able to discuss the. Um, you know, the, the process of the game to the point at which you are building a castle. I've only got to the point of building a house, right, and starting a village, and I haven't gotten any further. So I've got to actually play through the game just a bit more and just um, see what the next part of the game is like and uh, you know, what it involves. 
and so on so that I can discuss it a bit better. Uh, and the other one, of course, is a very cute game that I played a long time ago and totally forgot about. Now I only played a bit of it and then uh, I got stuck into, I think I was playing Fable or something. <laughs> so we've done everything. All the windows are done. Hooray. Now we do need to replace radiators. Um, but initially I think we'll, I, I probably want to get rid of these lamps. These lampshades are annoying. I really don't like them. And uh, the reason I don't, I don't like these old things either. And the reason is they just, um, you can get stuck on them when you're trying to finish the place. And I've been stuck on them a few times. You can actually duck down like your character crouches, use the B button. Um, however, I, I haven't found jump, so, <laughs> so yeah, you can get stuck and that's, that's not, yeah. This is a camping bungalow, right? We don't need all these tools here. They have this here because you might want to um, make this your own little office. So I can, if I want to, I can make this my office. I can actually move here. I'm not sure if I can sell my original office, but I can actually uh, come in and move into this place. So we want to get some color in here. Now, thankfully I have some skills and I want to get a bit faster. Let's get faster at cleaning. It takes so long. Okay, and um, so back to that. And I'm going to go to the shop. And let's pick some colours. So, so the theme here was like a greenish kind of uh, colour. So what I could do is, you can just go white if you want. You can just like go for the, um, make the whole thing white and uh, just boring <laughs> I guess <laughs> but clean right <laughs> um, the thing is some of these buyers like color so it is a good idea to have some color in because they do actually go for it <laughs> I've noticed that much okay so we go to walls and we want to go to paint now you can do wallpaper I haven't tried wallpaper but I kind of just stick with with paint I prefer so if we look at the green tones that we have we have this morning uh, we've got the young flower bud color and if you click on it it'll come up um, a little bit that's like a gray it's probably a bit dull and pistachio is pretty bright so yeah I don't want to like, make it sickly um, Potentially the young flower, but it isn't too bad. It looks more like a yellow to me, not really much of a green. Let's have a look at some other options. We can probably go with cream. The cream is always very nice, I think, in a lounge area. So you've got the natural beige. Um, there's a, probably the sand almond is a little bit of a darker tone. Bright peach is a nice color and it's it kind of goes with a lot of things. So that works, light cream. I think light cream's nice. I like light cream. So I'm going to actually uh, go with a light cream in this room just for the lounge area. So let's, let's get our paint roller out. And so how are you, Judith? How's your night going? What are you up to? Uh, playing a, a game over there. <laughs> yeah, see that's a that's a very agreeable colour, and it will go with a nice brown. So we can go kind of, given that this is a cabin, we can go with like a cream and brown sort of theme. I know some of the some of the buyers are not going to like that, but other ones will. So. And they all want a spa, uh, not a spa, a sauna. You can actually make a spa as well in this. Um, now we can actually do some details in colour if uh, if need be. So uh, one thing I might do sooner rather than later is put some light fittings in. And um, there are some lights that will bring out the cream colour a bit better. So, all 
right. Okay. Oh, that looks so much better already, doesn't it? You know, and that's the thing. The floor is awful. I don't like this floor. <laughs> it's not completely terrible. It just looks tacky to me. It looks cheap and nasty. I don't like it. <laughs> so, anyway. I'm going to probably go use the uh, a different colour for the inside of the the window frames because it looks really quaint. I rather like it, you know, painting the inside just a slightly different tone. Oh, oh, not that one, the other one. Let me get the pointer on it. There we go. Okay. So. So yes, uh, next week I will be in fact on Wednesday um, doing a different game. I, it's either going to be, um, again, <laughs> but two medieval themed games and one is kingdom building and another one is castle renovation. Right? <laughs> so, and I might do a part two to some of the other games that I have done on this um, Play and Explore series. And the reason is that, you know, there's, there's I've pretty much started it off, but there's more to these games and it's nice to kind of have a follow-up to that, I think, too, isn't it, you know? So, um, what do I need, a medium or a small? Let's stick with a medium because I might use it somewhere else. So it's nice to have a follow-up, you know, of uh, what happens next. How, uh, without it being a, a full series, just just to go through um, what, you know, what you can expect as you move along. Uh, and I can only do that once I've actually played through the game a bit more. So that's the idea. All right. We missed one. Okay, so this place is pretty small. I don't want to pull out any walls. I'm going to leave the rooms in it. Um, I, I'm happy to, to stick with the rooms that it's got. Um, and some of the other ones I will, but uh, not for this one. I don't need to. You can demolish walls and uh, make it more open living. I do. I do like to open the kitchen area just a bit, but. I'm going to reduce the expenditure on this one because I'm on a very tight budget for this particular um, for this particular account. If we look at, we've got one thousand seven hundred eighty-one to uh, dollars in game dollars to actually do this up. So it's not a lot of money. It's um, I think we can do it. You know, I think we'll manage, but. Once you start putting appliances in and things, it starts to get expensive. We put the kitchen in and so on. Uh, you start to look at a whole lot more expenditure, so it's worth, um, might have to do a job at some stage if, if need be. Now, we don't have to expend too much on this place. I think um, just try to keep it looking tidy, um, not go too crazy. But I think if it's just tidied up and it has the basics, then hopefully that plan will work and the, the, you know, we'll have a willing buyer who's going to give us a, uh, a little bit extra than our asking price, hopefully. Because I did put a point into negotiation skills. So the higher your negotiation skills, the, um, the more likely it is that you'll get a better price in the end. So start putting a few points into that as soon as you can, as soon as they become available. A long day watching uh, footage. Oh, really? Wow. Oh, man. Yeah, right. That, um, that race can get quite 
Okay, it's right. I've watched that before. So, chilling is good. I find this rather therapeutic, not actually having to breathe in paint fumes. <laughs> And in the meantime, like tidying up a room. Look at it, it's so much better. It's so much nicer now. Uh, and the kitchen, you know, uh, I don't have a, a lot of this left, so I'm kind of happy to just, just can it. Let's get rid of it. Now, I'd like to do a warmer colour, so let's go for what a clean home. See, those people like it a lot. So, what you can do is you can go across to your buyers. And the people who like my home so far are these two. And let's see what they like. Um, okay, retired, looking for a smaller house. Okay, we could we could design this house for these people. And because they're older, they might like some of the more classic style furniture. So staying in these neutral tones is probably a good idea. Um, all right, well, I'm going to go for, we've got brown, we've got this uh, delicate cacao color, which is quite nice, actually. Um, where was the cream? Cream, cream, cream. Okay. So for this room, let's stay with the cream, and the light biscuit is kind of, uh, probably a little bit, a bit gaudy. I don't really want that. Mm. I don't mind a natural beige. We just did the light cream. Sand on me. Maybe that's something nice and bright. Let's get something. Let's get some some colour in here. Oh, the other button. <laughs> I only need a small though. I don't want a large. So let's just not waste money. Oh, I did it again. It's funny. I keep hitting the left trigger. <laughs> okay, wait a second. <laughs> it's a right trigger. <laughs> there we go. Yes, we, do we actually do want that? Although I might rethink it, but anyway, I can always repaint it what it looks like. Um, oh! <laughs> Getting creative now. <laughs> I better not be too wild. This is an older couple. <laughs> They're a bit more sedate, so <laughs> let's just not go too crazy. Oh, that looks cute, I reckon. <laughs> Toughest race on the planet. Um, these guys are nuts. Oh, daring. Daring. <laughs> it's got to be, you'd have to be daring to do that. Seriously. <laughs> yep. We have to practice a lot to do that. <laughs> That's something to work up to. Not easy. They're on the road for a long time. How long does the race go on for? I remember something about it being a really, really long amount of time that they have to drive or something. Uh, it's, it's a long time. Yeah, I haven't watched it for ages. I have to admit, it's, a, it's years since I've watched it. But I am familiar with what it is, so, and how dangerous it is. Okay. Oh, this room looks happy. I like that. I like happy rooms. So much sorrow in the world. It's good to have a happy room. A happy place. <laughs> All right. It's almost becoming a bit Spanish in style, actually. <laughs> Which is the, kind of typical of me anyway, I guess. <laughs> I, I really like that. I even have a book on st Spanish, uh, Spanish like architectural style and everything. <laughs> yes, I actually bought a book on it. But I'm not attempting to do that. <laughs> it just so happens that it looks that way. You know, we can even use this theme in the room. Uh, coming through into the kitchen and just make a nice sunny room. And a feature wall is fine. I'm, I'm always happy with a feature wall. I think feature walls are, you know, in the right place. I think they look nice. So, I don't mind doing a, a nice little uh, 
classic bookkin, and you'll see there at the top of my list. I made the comment earlier, and now that couple is now is sitting at the top of my list, and that's a thing. If you look at the people and you do that, uh, once again, I'll show you. You, uh, you hit the little menu icon, you, you come up with this, and you can see at the bottom here your buyers. So whoever is sitting at the top and is interested in what you've done so far, you have a look at them, in, find them in here, and look at who they are. Right, and what they might be looking for. So it doesn't tell you a lot, but, you know, um, it can tell you a few, uh, a few things about them. Like this one's a personal trainer. He's a real man, so he likes, you know, he's kind of like all the, maybe some gym gear and um, some sporty stuff and whatever. And anyway, here we have a student. So you're going to need a student desk and a printer and whatever that they may, may need. Um, so, hmm, I think I'm going to like it. I think so. <laughs> There's going to be a fridge there, so <laughs> is it going to matter? Uh, yeah. I think I can. I think I can. I can dig the kitchen being kind of in a similar colour to this. Why don't we go the other way around though? So make it like the yellow with the white in the, in the window frames. Maybe, maybe, or just do a feature wall with the cream. So back to the store. I'm going to need another container. Um, maybe just stick with the small ones. And I might get the small cream as well. Let's go back and get the uh, other light cream. Well, that's a medium. I actually don't mind if it's a uh, light cream further through the house. I think for a classic themed house with with the furniture, the furniture is kind of wooden and yeah, it does look nicer. So I'm going to actually let's just wax on my cream. Oh, it's not cream. There we go. Let's just get these walls done. And uh, I did say something about lighting tonight. <laughs> yep. All right. So you can see it was a whitish color. Oh. All oh, right. I'm starting to have this little problem again where it selects. Okay. Let's put you over here. Now, I went to the white, to the cream bucket, and it selected that colour. So I'm going to start wasting paint, which is annoying. Um, I'm going to put lights in because it's going to get dark potentially. So let's go lighting, chuck some lights in, and uh, before it gets too dark, lights are in the furniture under furniture icon. Let's go to lights. We already have light switches, which I will replace, but I'm not going to bother with it right now. Ceiling lamps, you have all of these choices, all sorts of things. That's a nice one. Uh, that one is the kind of golden, it's more of a yellowy coloured light. Um, yep, there you are, that's a, that's a ceiling fan as well. Um, it's kind of, it's up to you what you choose, of course. I think the, the chanted tulips one was probably a good idea. Um, for a class themed home, so I might just drop them. We're going to do a little dining area probably here. So uh, I think the problem is uh, we're going to do a kitchen and dining. It's very small though. I'm only just going to fit a kitchen in here, maybe a tiny table. Such a small area. I could in fact whack these walls out and it would give me a tiny bit more space. But given that this is a traditional, you know, these people like tradition, I, I think, let's just chuck that there for now and uh, see what, uh, see how bright that is. Right. Okay, that actually looks quite nice on this move, but. So, what if I drop that, that there? Yeah, that's nice. And if I have a matching one at the front here, that's kind of something that they, they might go for. Let's see. Yeah. 
rich looking. Okay, so we've got another potential buy there. <laughs> Thinks this looks pretty fancy. All right. There we are. Okay, that's nice. And in here, I'm going to put just a, a functional light. So, uh, ceiling lamps again. And let's go for the functional light, this one here. Um, you'll see that that's quite expensive actually. It's 93, so it's, it's not a cheap and nasty one. It's actually a, you know, a more expensive kind of lampshade. What have we got there? Light, uh, dark, pastel rose, mm, golden. Golden's going to go with our theme a bit better. Inside of the lampshade is dark, inside is white. Let's go with that. So what that looks like. Oh, that's nice. There we go. It's in the middle somewhere. That's not quite right, is it? That's a bit far better. Where's the middle of this room? Approximately there. Oh, well, let's see what it looks like. Oh, where's my light switch? Hello, light switch. Where are you? Why is there no light switch in this room? Hmm. Okay. Maybe it's a case of we've got one switch and it's turning on all of the lights. And is that the case? Yes. No. Well, I did not remove the light switch, so we actually need a switch. Okay. So we go to light switches. And I'm just going to go with the... What have we got here at the moment? It's kind of... We want the classic themed, more traditional looking switch. These are cute, aren't they? That's a, that's a sweet and switch. Um, I don't know about those ones. What about these? Groove. <laughs> Dark light switch. Metal. What about that? Well, can we get that in a colour maybe? You know, like a cream or something? Yes. There we go. We'll get that in the cream colour. And the details are... Details? What colour? Pink? Ooh! That's kind of brownish. Brass? We go with brass, maybe? What does that look like? Hmm. That's a bit tacky. I'll probably just stick with cream. Make it all the same. Yes. Don't want it to look too tacky. Right. Okay. So there's a little switch on the wall. Hopefully it'll turn this light on. And I might turn all, make all the switches um, this old-fashioned. That's a, a newish looking light, but I'm choosing it because it gives a better spread of light in the room. Uh, six lap, 65 kilometers a lap. This is 17 minutes a lap. Six laps. Okay. Yeah. Intense, intense driving though. Very intense. And very skilled. You definitely, you know, definitely don't want to be having a bad day. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> okay. So that's, that looks nice, I reckon. Um, We'll worry about the rest later. So let's just get this going. I was doing cream colour on this wall and I was having a bit of a strange moment with the, the paint deciding. There we go. To choose from the other pot, the opposite pot to the one I was actually in. <laughs> but you know. That's the strangeness of the game, <laughs> the quirkiness. <laughs> so we do have cream, we do indeed. I don't want to keep wasting paint. <laughs> We're on a live budget here. <laughs> okay. Now I haven't figured out how to uh, how to replace the smoke alarms, but I guess I could, you know. I, I guess you'd have to look at. Uh, See if it's in the menu, smoke on. I don't want to take it out just in case it isn't. 
And we should do that, the, um, the nice little honey colour as well. And we'll use a nice matching set of uh, a kitchen set, I think. Although I am feeling that I like the I like the um, I like this colour here, but maybe not so much near the window because it's going to look like it's going to kind of make this room look smaller. So I don't want to do that. So I might stick with my theme of the cream across here. It gives you a sense of space in the room. I like to feel like there's uh, some breathing room. Canary yellow. <laughs> I'm so you know, I'm so tempted to just do the most bizarre house and just see what that happens. <laughs> there's there is a guy, a buyer who likes parties. And uh, so if you did it all kind of circus colours, I reckon that you'd probably get a good price. And there are some crazy stuff you can put in there too, you know. There's some fun items to put in your house as well. <laughs> For parties and such. Anyway. Yes, I'm doing the, the rather the pleasant day look here. <laughs> But uh, the office, I think, uh, yeah, my office is really nice. Um, not not the one on this login, but the, my other login um, that I showed earlier. It's all in uh, black, uh, black, red, and grey, and it looks really, really good. So I'm pretty happy with that combination. All right, now I want some of this. Now, I might actually paint ceilings too in this place before I sell. It doesn't take too long to do the ceilings, and I just think it's, you know, um, like what is that colour? I don't know. That's supposed to be white or something? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what that's meant to be. Okay, well, no, I've got enough to do it. I'm going to do it. There we go. Oh, I hit the wrong thing. <laughs> Oops. Oh, it's all right. I have a medium power. Don't tell me I'm going to have to buy Oh, no. I could do a check. It's something like, look. <laughs> if you wanted to look really crazy, I could do a check. It's something like this. Like <laughs> yellow there and here and here. <laughs> so you look up and it's, it's all wacky colours. <laughs> so everything looks really nice and, uh, and, and placid and then you look up. <laughs> no, they're not going to like that. I'll lose my buyers. I've got my buyers sitting there going, Ooh, we like in this house so far. So, you know, they might pay me some decent money for it. So I actually need a small pot of cream. I didn't finish my job. I'm a dodgy painter. <laughs> Right, get rid of you, and I need a small pot of cream paint. So, oh, I might buy another little cream switch actually, and I'm going to put that here. There, and I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, yeah, I think I can get some money for that. No, I, I just have to remove it. Okay. All right. That's that fixed. So, uh, you can also, so you can get, get rid of this and repair all of your power sockets as well, which isn't a bad idea, actually. All right. I need my paint. Where's my paint? Mm -hmm. Light cream. Is the one. Uh, why did I buy a big? Hang on a second. I don't want a big one. I just want small. 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 Aha. Okay. Alrighty. Let's fix this. 
and I can't tell. Mm. No point. Nice. Okay, so painting skill point. Uh, twenty percent less paint usage, and I'm going to say yes to that first. And the reason is we save money, so you spend less expenditure, more profit. <laughs> Very business-like, I know, but you know. Oh, did I just accidentally? Mm -hmm. So you would do something like this. Hang on, hang on, let me do it. <laughs> I'll fix it, but uh, it's just for sort of fun. There you go. How's that? Do you like that? It's quite, you can't quite do it properly because the squares don't really go where they should. But anyway, <laughs> never mind. Okay. I am, in fact, just going to hit it with a cream. I just think it's going to look better. I don't want it to be white. Not really. Get, you know, it's a mood, right? It's a mood. This is a bit weird when you're just selling. It kind of doesn't, it goes all over the place instead of just clicking into an area. Like the walls click into it, you can't, you know, they click into a zone that uh, the ceiling start. And in fact, that's not a bad idea for me to try to just. Fix the ceiling too. So, just a fresh coat of paint. Can't go astray, right? I should have got the media now. Now that I've decided to do this, <laughs> oh, well, it's so costly cost anyway. <laughs> Doesn't actually matter. See what I'm? It's a little bit glitchy. It's not glitchy, but a little bit fiddly. Um, oh, that looks better. I think that looks a lot nicer. I don't like it. The um, the old trashy white. <laughs> this doesn't look as nice. Okay. Okay. And the lights in the way. So somehow I've got to actually figure out how to make a bedroom um, in here as well. So this is what the issue is. I mean, I could actually split this room if I wanted to. I could put a wall somewhere and uh, make a very like a small dining area um, or living area and a bedroom. That's you know. Those, those are things that you can do, or you can just make it an open living area, open living space. Uh, it's, it is a tiny floor area to work with, and a little bit frustrating actually. Not quite. There we go. Ah, that just looks toned, it looks nice. Much better. Looks like it's had a, it's had some love. Yeah. <laughs> that's a that's a better look. Okay, now the doors have got to go. They look the old and daggy, and that will be a different colour. So we don't need to carry this theme into the bathroom. We can do like blue in the bathroom, maybe something like that. And uh, this room looks really nice. The little the little lowish coloured lamp. So I went, do want to get a kitchen in here and I am going to, for now, for now, get rid of these. And I want to replace this floor. I think I should have enough, without doing another job, I should have enough to, uh, to replace the floor. Let's speed that up. Okay. Oh, actually, I'll check. So, where am I at? I don't know the store. Okay, I've got 1,540. So, I want a kitchen set. 
outfits, so the bathroom, uh, occasional accessories, fixtures, decorations, furniture is what I want. I want to go to the kitchen and I want kitchen sets. Let's try to just get a set in there. Uh, and what has this got in it? Let's have a look. 698, so well, you see how the the, the money just so, <laughs> oh, it just suddenly takes off. <laughs> so I'm not so sure about our expenditure on this. Right, you want canary yellow? We can do canary yellow. Look, look at that. Yellow! Ta -da, ta da It's yellow! <laughs> oh! And it's it's endlessly spinning now. That's the oh the countertop and you can see the yeah that's good so we can see what we're doing. The tabletop grey. I like I really like granite or marble. I think it looks it looks nice. Um, what have we got here? Light gloss. Uh, to go with a more classic theme, probably go for a uh, like a granite and a brownish tone because of the cream. So we don't really go with the greys really. I'm preferring a cream. There's a cream countertop. Can have a look at that. That's not too bad. Uh, it may not. It may not exactly match though. Brown. Oh, might not look as nice. Black marble. White marble. Grey stone, grey marble, granite, shiny grey, uh, black matte, what was this one? Black matte, uh, brownish granite. I was wondering if brownish granite, because it's kind of greyish, but not entirely, so it should blend. But <laughs> the colour, the, look at the colours. You can go for some pretty wild colours for the base. So that's not the right one for us anyway. Um, Oh, that's pretty wild. But no, we want something more classic looking. Um, that's not too bad. 704. Yeah. Let's look at this one. Wooden standing set. And what is this one here? Uh, wooden standing kitchen set C. It's the old fashioned ones. A snowman. The snowman is actually quite nice, um, as I said. It's, you know, it's just a standard cabinet with a, a cooktop. Your problem is getting a sink in. Sometimes you, you have trouble fitting the sink. Um, so, details, we can go for golden. Oh, that looks crazy. I think maybe we'll stick with a beige. And a tabletop, we can go with... A, what was that brown? Brownish granite, what is this? That one, yeah, that one. Brownish granite. And as for the colour, I'm not sure. Um, do we want to go with coffee in this room? In the, maybe? Uh, ooh, what's that? Cream, coffee, beige, brown coffee, grey, light grey. White matte, gloss, pastel, blue, grassy green, dark yellow. Okay, I wonder what other colours and options there are. Let's have a look at this one. It's a bit more expensive. Oh, that kind of looks fancy. Look at the cooktop. Wow. And we have a different kind of... Oh, this is nice. So we can go with the wood. American Elm. Uh, is that the colour I want though? That's the colour that goes with what we've got right there. The brown beach. Uh, okay, tabletop. Brown. Do we want to go all brown looking? In fact, that is not bad. Okay. And the handles, maybe. Oh, look at this. This is looking super duper fancy. What about the top? There we go. Look at that. That looks amazing. Okay, I'm going to buy that. That looks awesome. Wish I had this in my kitchen. Gee, it's really cool. 
I don't know, but the, yeah, the tabletop's actually pretty interesting. So I might just put it in the corner. I will need to have a sink, so that's the only other thing that I've got to think of. And I also need a fridge, but there is a skinny fridge that I can put in. The other thing I could put it maybe this way, and that will give me space uh, down the side. I, I've got a plug point to get rid of there though. Uh, I'll tell you what. For now, it's just going to go here. Right, there you are. Ta da! Wow, that is so fancy. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the plug point and. Let's get rid of that. Let's put another power point in here. But none, neither of these. I don't want that. So we need a power point. Um, now where do I get a power point from? So that is the the count. What is it? Count design. Count. So if I look for standing cabinets, I can actually find something hopefully in that same style. Okay, of the count. Now. There we go. The count wooden cabinet, uh, cabinet with drawers, kitchen island. We're not going to be able to fit that. Uh, double cabinet, corner cabinet. Some of these are hanging cabinets, I believe. Uh, we'll see if we can find out. But I do just want a regular, like a double cabinet. I would like a sink. And I will have to pause just temporarily. I have a cat jumping on my screen, wanting to come in. So we want the count variety of furniture. Uh, now I also need electronics, so electronic equipment, furniture lights, occasional, where would I find it? Uh, bathroom entertainment, no, none of those. Maybe here, installations, assembly others. Oh, here we are. Okay, electrical outlets. So, I need to put some electrical outlets in the wall. Okay, I've got, wait a sec. A regular, a type B, type B electrical outlet. I think we just need a standard outlet. I don't, I'm not really fast. Uh, wooden, so that's what we had before. Or white is the only choice. What about that? What about that? No other choices. Uh, type B. E. A double. It's not going to give me much choice in the colour. Let's look for something we can get a bit of colour in at least. What about that one? Well, that's colour. Oh, here we go. Okay, we can <clears throat> we can do this one up in some kind of what's that? The cream colour and air. That's the cream and what was that other colour? We had like a sandy. There we go. That's going to match this whole room. That would be a little bit excitable though, I think, for this <laughs> for this couple. Let's just stick with it like that. I think that's kind of cute. So I'm going to put one here. At the assuming that we're going to have a fridge or maybe over here somewhere. You can always move them. That's the thing. If you put one wherever you put it, it can be moved. So it doesn't really matter. As long as it's there. Alright, so I do want to put this business here. Um, although, I think originally we had it here, which is maybe a better position because then I could put a fridge to the side. Um, but I will need a corner cabinet. So what if I put that in the middle? Where's the window? Let's try to center this a bit. There we go. Wow, that is a pretty wild looking thing, isn't it? Uh, what I'm going to do is get rid of this door. So I just think it looks atrocious. Ah, wait a sec. There we go. And so what you can do is you can actually open out this whole area. So make it a kitchen dining uh, kind of thing. Or you can actually put a nice little door frame around so this just stays open. Um, 
Now, I don't think it's going to tell me, I don't think it calls this anything at the moment. So it will label the room according to what's in the room. So this one you'll see it says, up to the top right, it says toilet. So, um, whereas that here, I'm going to actually get rid of the doors because they're going to be replaced. And I should get a little bit of money back uh, for that too. So let's see. I've got a bit of money back for the doors. So I'm up to 832. So I do have a, a little bit of a budget there. If oh. I can get back to... <laughs> Where was that? There it is. That's the one I want. I want one of those. So I'm going to buy a few more of those and put them around the place where they should be. Um, just here, for instance wherever they normally were before. Peg it there and peg it here. Doesn't matter too much. And we're just going to get rid of the other ones. So Alright, and there's one more here, so we'll replace that. And that's our PowerPoint's done except for the bathroom. One in the bathroom perhaps. Okay. So PowerPoint there. And where's the bathroom PowerPoint? So gaudy in this bathroom. It's really awful. Um, I might just put it here. I mean, why would you have it there, really? I think you'd probably have it here somewhere. Heavy. Oh, actually, you'd have it up for a hairdryer, right? So, yeah, you might have it like about there, possibly. All right. Um, I don't want to fuss too much, but I think maybe a couple of PowerPoints in the bathroom would be a good idea. Um, where else would there be a PowerPoint? Maybe one there, and possibly we want to put a shower here, and we could put a washing machine even. So maybe let's put one just here on the wall. All right. Now this place is looking really neat. I do need to put door frames in. Um, door frames you get from... You can just put a door in or you can do a door frame. So this is a door frame, a single door frame. And you can choose different colours for that door frame. So I can go with any of these colours uh, that I like. So what did I say it was? The the brown mm, beach, bird beach, brown beach was, wasn't it? Cherry moon? One of these, called mahogany. Ah, oh, which no, he's not going to give it to us. Mm hmm, got the burned beach, but that's not the colour we're looking for. Oak isn't too bad, it's quite nice. Um. So you can put that in, that's 56. If I wanted to put a door in in the kitchen, you want to look for the internal doors. So you've got the abstracto doors, that's all a little bit too modern looking for this kind of um, home. So we're looking for the internal door, this kind of thing, so that's a white. But look how expensive that is. So. I'm actually happy to keep the kitchen open and to put, um, I think that is a, a sliding, perhaps a sliding door, um, which isn't uh, too bad actually, considering it's a bolsu, bolsu door. I don't know, does that go? That's, that's neither here nor there. Um, that's an old fashioned one, what about that? We can actually try it and just see what it looks like. Yeah, too, a bit too modern, that's not going to work. Okay, this cat's going nuts, so I am going to have to actually go and uh, attend the cat. <laughs> um, so, uh, the door frame is the other option that you can, like I said, go with a colour, spruce. Oh, spruce isn't, a, isn't too bad a colour compared for what we've been doing, but I was looking for more of a dull brown that wasn't really going to make too much of a statement. That's the thing. I, w I don't want it to be too 
So yeah, what's that? That's a cool mahogany. Maybe that'll maybe that'll do the trick. Um, it's kind of understated and a little bit cottagey. It's not exactly what I'm looking for though. A bit darker than that. Cedar. Uh, let's turn it around and have a look. That's cedar. It's a bit red coloured. Grey wood. Uh, American walnut. That's dark. Oak. Uh, American elm is the light. Cherry is really bright. Light mahogany. Not bad. Probably cool mahogany, but it's not dark enough. Beach, Brazil nut, Brazil nut's not bad, it's a brown, but starting to look a little bit too modern. I don't really want the modern look in here, that's not what I'm after, so yeah, I'm after more of the brownie tone. Uh, what was the one I had before? How about that? That's not bad. That tone's not too bad. Let's have a look. Oh yeah. Okay, well that's that's not too bad. There we go. That actually matches quite well. It doesn't uh, it's not against any color in this room so far. Now that one I will actually put a door. So let's get the actual door. And um, we just want the internal door. So just make sure that's a front door so it's a little bit different. So you just want the internal door and I'm going to be looking for, um, what can we do for, that's just white, that's that, and that's brown. Is there another door that's uh, not too modern looking? That's an interior door. What about this one? Uh, is there another colour I can get? Yes. That might not be too bad. It's a little different from our theme, but we can match by the look of it. Ash, uh, what have we got? I wish they'd have the same wood, you know, at least. Uh, what have we got there? That is, what's that called? Cedar, white, burned beach. I'm not really getting the same colour, am I? Yeah. Uh, definitely need the same colour, so, okay, that's a bit tricky, isn't it? So this is the mahogany one, and that is a brown. I really didn't want to go with white, so, hmm, a bit tricky. Might not have much choice. Uh, that's an interior door that looks a little modern for my tastes for this particular build. But I have to work with what I can, you know, what I can do. Black, grey, uh, let's see, American elm, burned beech, what's that? That's the cedar. Whatever it is, it needs to be able to, it needs to give me that same colour. Like nut. Oh, it's not too far off, is it? A bit brighter though. It's a bit, a bit lighter than what I'm looking for. Um, and of course, you can put in colours here. You can put in white wood or glass. Um, either it's a toilet door, so I don't really want to put grass in <laughs> glass in there. Uh, spruce isn't too bad. I could probably deal with the spruce look. And so our first colour is the most important thing, really. Uh, those. Those other colours aren't going to be too much of an issue. Um, handle, we're going to go with golden probably. Dark, black, golden. I'm going to go with the golden handle. The frame, we want, um, we can keep it dark actually, but I think dark looks a little bit, I don't know, what's the word? Maybe the, hmm. There we go. I think this is light nut colour. And then we just have to think of the colour that goes in there. And that's that's like an offset thing. So it can be grey, um, it can be uh, glass, it can be white. 
I don't want white wood though. It's not the look I want. Or we can just keep it the light teak colour. Um, I actually think this colour is probably better. It seems to have that kind of yellowish tone through it. So now the primary colour of the door is uh, there. We can do that. And spruce. That makes it all one colour, which is actually more of a classic look. I'm going to go for it. I think it's more of a classic look. So I don't want it too fancy and too too modern in this place. But that is the only way. Yeah, that, that's not bad. That's matched relatively well, I think. Okay, not too bad. All right, so I want to keep this door open. I, I don't want to... Um, I don't want to close this off just yet. Okay, so if we were to have a look at how far we've come, what would it, what would happen if I put this on the market right now? Now, if I press down the right trigger, it will tell me the I bought it for that. That's the area. My current budget is that much. I have spent on one hour and twelve minutes on this. I can put it on auction and I can just decline it. So let's put it on auction and then I will do it up and decline. I'll decline then I'll, I'll do it up. So let's see how much they would actually give us for what we've done so far. I'm gonna say not very much because we don't have a bed, we don't have all the things that they want. So, okay, so we're going to lose money because we don't have the things. There are no plants in the house. I want a sauna, I want a bedroom. I love our flowers, there's no flowers, there's no books. Um, so all we have to do is refuse the offer like that. And you can do that once, okay? So that's why I'm doing this so to show you. You can do that once. You refuse the offer and then you go and do all the things that they are requesting you to do for, you know, to um, achieve the, the, the price results. So essentially it'll get you over the line if you just do the basic things that they want so that you have to furnish. There's there's no two ways around it. You need to put in your heaters, uh, fix PowerPoints, furnish the place, ideally change light switches and, uh, and improve your lighting situation, paint the outside of the house, um, replace flooring if need be, replace the tiling um, this one you can put in your that's a shower you can put in a towel rack and um, as you can see a washer so the washer fits there so yeah I was right even though I didn't notice that and replace the toilet and sink and then you're good to go and if you just furnish it up a bit um, with some paintings and whatever then uh, you'll be fine. So I'm actually going to be doing another job. So the, the way to get around it is, and uh, here's something I want to show you. All you have to do to go back to your place is go up to the gate and go use, and it says down the bottom left, the bottom left of the screen, um, go to the students and then computers, that's the job that I'm doing. Return to my office or I can stay. And at this stage, I am going to return to my office. It is, yeah, I think it's coming up nicely. But you'll see that, um, you know, I, I've spent all of that time on, you know, on the house. So it takes time. So you've got to be prepared to put in the hours to, like, real life hours to get the result. Okay. Um, but until your skills are maxed, it's slow. <laughs> Once your skills max out, it's a lot faster to do up a house and um, a lot easier because you have the budget. So at the moment, I'm kind of like, you know, skimping a bit because I don't have, really have the budget to put in. And if you do put in enough um, of the right things, then you will make profit as I showed you earlier on one of them I made uh, uh, six and a half grand or something and that's not even doing the garden all right so I didn't do the garden because I don't have that DLC because that to do the gardens is a DLC of its own and once you have that you start earning a lot more profit of course uh, because it's more effort 
you're going around, you're putting in more hours doing gardens, and um, yeah, it does take longer. So meantime, I have a paint job to do in this place, and um, then I also do have to go and uh, attend a job, <laughs> which is the student house that is a complete not a mess. <laughs> so let me just uh, come out of this for now. Now I'm just going to hop back out of here. So let's go to the main menu. All right. And uh, I'm just going to jump back into my other character. So um, let's go back into this one. And we're going to continue the game. So this one's a bit further along and has more skills. Right. Be back in just a moment. I've just got to sort something out here. Won't be a minute. Okay, I'm back. So, right, so this is, um, yeah, I've decked this place out, as you can see, and it's got a groovy little bathroom with a towel rack, and um, that's a, a towel radio thingy, and you can open these blinds and close them. So they're the more expensive ones that you can choose the colours of. I've got this shower and, of course, a mirror and a sink. And the lights, of course, there. And I like this this round light here. That's not exactly in the centre, though. I can't believe that. So, yeah, in between, you, you know, you gain skill. If you work on your own little place here, you actually do gain skill for doing that. So, um... So I've just, yeah, I've just got a little basic set up here. And this window I had a problem with. I pulled out the old window that was there and then couldn't get it back in. So I have to move all this stuff. And <laughs> Anyway, meantime, I just shoved a small window in there. <laughs> so it doesn't look like really great. But <laughs> um, And then I've got this nice little area. This bed is really cool. There you are. <laughs> That's your idea with the bed. It's, it's like a James Bond bed, right? <laughs> that scene of in jo with James Bond with um, Jaws, where they, <laughs> they've got the, the flip up bed. I don't know what that's from. I'm trying to remember what that's from. It's from Russia, from Russia with Love or something, maybe. <laughs> now they've got the, the bed. <laughs> so, yeah, that flips up and down. And um, 
I've just got my nice little office area here and you even choose, here's the thing, you can even choose the, the colours of the pencils and pens and the colours of these little cubes that, you know, to match and even the colours of your post-it notes. There's several colours in that and you can select those colours. Now I've been dying to get rid of this thing, I don't want it. Ah, enough of that. <laughs> I had another picture, I put it away didn't I? So I'll show you how to do the picture actually. Um, while I'm at it, uh, gallery, choose anything out of your gallery, anything at all that you like, okay, uh, you can choose any picture, this is from another house that I did up I think, mm, what have we got down here, oh that's a bathroom, I don't really want, oh that's this place, right, um, what have we got there, uh, a very quaint looking kitchen, Oh, this is the other place I did up. Okay. Yeah, I, I did another place up and I um I tried to use kind of, I don't know, more, again, more neutral tones and things. I got a little bit bright in the bedroom area, but uh, I don't, I wasn't really pleased with it. It didn't do too badly on sale. I did make a profit. Not a really good profit, but I did make a profit. Um, out of this one I can create a painting, I suppose. Let's, uh, let's see. There we go. That's a nice little room. So you'll see that the painting is um, 379. Now I can make it um, smaller or bigger, depending. You know, I can make it really like massive. Or I can just uh, keep it as a small picture. So I'm going to buy the smallest one. And let's see, we can just put that little picture right there. Okay. So that's how you uh, that's how you do your own little pictures. And you can actually import a picture from um, from your computer if you're on PC with this game. You can choose any picture that you want, a picture of yourself, a picture of your, your pets, um, anything you like, and you can put that picture up on the, on the walls in your place. So this little place, I'm not sure if it's, there's any point in actually trying to sell this place at, at, you know, at any stage, but I'll show you what I've got. So this is how far I've come. I've got only like one more thing to do there. So I need to do a job where I do cleaning and I can just like mask that. Oh, wait. <laughs> um, painting, I've only got one more thing to do in painting get that maxed. Handyman is maxed. Uh, demolition, I have a lot to do still. So I need to do some more demolition jobs. That's how you do it. Um, you either start knocking walls out and rebuilding walls in the houses that you are doing up or you take a job. <laughs> uh, building, so you can, yeah, you can actually Take jobs that will require you to rebuild certain parts of the house and that will give you a building trait. I have maxed out my price negotiation. So I just got this last one and hopefully it makes a difference um, to how much I can, I can actually charge um, for the property. So I should be able to negotiate a bit better. Um, 50% extra payment for the job. I thought that was like, you know, <laughs> it just seemed a little bit, uh, uh, I'm not sure, like, <laughs> not really honest, I think. <laughs> but anyway, and, and this business here, minus 10% of the job's requirements. So uh, I guess you just like squiggle a bit on a window and it's finished or something like that. <laughs> but anyway. I'm not so sure about the morality of some of these things. <laughs> it doesn't like wear well on me. I don't. I don't like it. But <laughs> you know, um, what is honest pay for honest work? And that's from one of the games that I play. <laughs> I think it's um, that's from uh, Fallout Four, right? From Fallout Four. Um, if you go and do some work on an Abernathy farm, they say honest pay for honest work. <laughs> I kind of feel like that, you know, I'm like, oh, really, do I, 
Why am I getting 50% extra payment? I must be totally awesome. I must be so awesome that everyone wants to pay me more money to do this job. I mean, I guess that's the idea, right? <laughs> but um, anyway, if I'm doing less, you know, minus 10% of the job, am I really that awesome? I, I'm finding like that's, a, that's conflicting for me, but I, you get the points, so you end up just sticking them in there, right? There's no other choices. <laughs> So that would be like one of my, one of my uh, little complaints potentially that uh, the morality I, I just I just don't like the what that implies, <laughs> um, and I don't like what it encourages. You know, you, you you get paid to do a job, do the job, and do it well, and finish the job. You know, <laughs> that's the way I see it. Anyhow, that um. I guess the world has it, uh, people have their own ideas about what's okay and what's not. So um, it's you know, each to their own, it's a game and I guess you just, you do what gives you the, the advantage in the game, right? So that's the way it goes. Okay, well I'm not sure what else I can show you. Um, the jobs themselves, now once you, okay, once you move along a bit, they start to become quite cumbersome. And I mean, there is a lot of rooms to do. There are lots of things to do within each room. Um, it, you know, this, you get this one, but then further down the track, a base build. Um, if we were to accept that job, for instance, then there's actually, there's a lot to do in that. And you've got to make sure that you can afford it too, because you've got to purchase items in order to complete the job. So I know that this, this one's not too bad. I've done this one before. Um, the aunt's home to be a great one. So pictures, but the problem with this job, um, if you do come to this job, the aunt's home to redecorate, the issue is if you don't choose the items that this person likes, then, uh, who is it, Amy Johnson, they are quite specific and they like uh, normal furniture. So nothing too modern or nothing too old fashioned. They just want normal, so you have to figure out what they mean by normal, because otherwise they don't pay you the full amount for the job. So they basically um, pay you less if they don't like the the pictures that you choose and the items that you choose to put into the place. So I'm avoiding that one for now. I don't really like it. Christmas cleaning. Now some of these they look easy, but when you get in there, there's like five rooms to do, and then they want you to stick, you know, decorations all around. You've got to purchase all these decorations, specific ones, put them all around the place, do this, do that, do the next thing, and you know, it literally hours go past, and and you, then you don't get paid that well at the end anyway. So uh, some of them are not so good. Some of them it's a lot of effort for a little pay. This Mikey George one, that is a big job, right? <laughs> um, yeah. So, anyways, uh, this one you've got to like dig snow. There's piles of snow, and you've got to like dig them away, and and uh, what have you. So that one is in fact a little bit frustrating. We can have a look at the Christmas cleaning, but um. Yeah, I think that I've, I remember this wasn't like too bad, but they'll pay you the full price for the job on this as long as you do everything that's required and to a reasonable amount, you know, degree. Uh, whereas this one here, the aunt's home to redecorate, this person's fussy and they, you know, I chose something they didn't like that wasn't normal furniture, I think. It was too modern or something. And um, I didn't get the full price for the job so yeah, yeah just be aware of that but um, I might take this uh, little Christmas cleaning job here and um, start earning a little bit more money so that I can put it towards doing up the house and selling it for a profit and as you saw 
you can't skimp um, before I showed you what would happen if you tried to sell it before you placed any furniture so if you just painted it and put power points and lights and doors then and didn't bother to paint the outside like that's what the situation was what would the situation be how, how much would you lose or gain and you know it was minus 2000 and something so it is really worth we're in a, a winter zone here so it is really worth um, putting in the time and effort to to furnish the house because they require for some reason a fully furnished house like you I don't know many people want to buy a fully furnished house. You, you actually, in real life, don't want to. You know, you have your, you want to have your own furniture, furniture, or furnish it yourself. You might want just kitchen, maybe a fridge, dishwasher. Um, but you know, you probably want to have your your own lounge. You might move your own lounge in or whatever if you've got your favourite lounge. Yeah, I mean. How many people want a fully finished house? I'm not so sure on that. I think you want it to be you know, relatively empty so you can build your stuff in there, right? So, um, yeah, in that sense, this game is a bit weird that uh, you're fully furnishing houses for people. It's, it's a little bit odd. I, I don't know about that. But, <laughs> yeah, that doesn't wear well on me. But um, the game itself, I've got to say, is very enjoyable. On, you know, for the most part, it's a very enjoyable game, and I don't don't have any complaints about the majority of it. I think that um, you can spend a lot of hours, and uh, you've just got to figure out what the best um, what the what the best use of your time is in the game for what you're trying to achieve. Um, and the the way that you would do badly, I think, is if you did not pay attention to the buy the potential buyer list, right? So while you're doing up a property, if you don't pay attention to what the buyers are saying and what they require, then you could end up not doing very well at all and actually potentially making a loss. So that's to be avoided by just keeping an eye on that and trying to provide what they want. If you want the place for yourself, you can do that. And uh, you can you move your office there and it can be your place. Then just do some jobs and then go and, you know, go and do up some other houses. It doesn't matter. It's, it, it's your game. Play it your way, as I say. <laughs> um, so, yeah, because it's your game and you just want to play it your way, that's fine. Um, Use the customization options. You can use uh, easy, medium, or hard modes of assembling items, depending on your knowledge base. If you're used to assembling items, uh, maybe you've actually worked as an interior decorator or a, a tradesman, and you have those kind of skills. You want to up the ante a little bit, you know, make it a little more realistic, and and so on. You can actually turn the difficulty up, and it will uh, give you you know uh, there'll be more that you have to do so that's up to you um, for me I, I'm not you know <laughs> I haven't done any of those things so for me I just want the basic you know just the easy option to learn the game and I suppose maybe in the future I would turn it up but now yeah I'm, I'm just in the easy mode and I just want to enjoy myself and see what it's all about and have a go at doing up there's that, that other weird um, kind of lighting display. If we turn that on, let's see what that looks like. So you can check out the uh, furniture items that you can purchase by going into homes. So, yeah, that's a weird looking thing, isn't it? It's sort of sense of, you've got to have, have to position that properly so that if you were trying to like highlight a painting on the wall, the, the light cone would be in the right position right so uh, I don't know that that's a tricky one so I'm just doing a basic clean of this place we can turn the lights on in the house actually I don't have to have the lights off turn them on they're not very bright though so I kind of like it's very dirty in here hmm. yeah I mean we'll clean the car too huh so anyway, 
Yeah, I, I like uh, I like doing this because it gives me that extra bit of light in my in my vision, so that I can look for things. Sometimes it's too bright, and that way you can just flick it off. That's just the Y button, but it helps you to to detect different things. Um, sometimes the the lighting is a little bit too mood, a little bit of mood lighting that's not very practical, essentially. What have we got in here? A bathroom. Did I clean the bathroom? I cleaned this. I already went in. That's it done. So I'll, I'll have quite a few tasks to do here. I've got to clean up all of this junk, of course. And uh, the beauty of that is that once you um, upgrade your cleaning, see how many I can take at once? Look at that. So when you upgrade your cleaning skill, you don't have to pick them up one at a time. It picks up the whole batch in one go like that. So it's much faster and uh, getting through a property and doing a job is a lot easier. Uh, so yeah, it's worth just doing the jobs and um, doing up your own little office which will give you skill points and then you will be able to, um, ah, there's a batch over there, uh, then you will be able to upgrade. So you've got to look for the little ones lying around the place. Just be careful not to eliminate something you're not supposed to. There we go. That's cleaned up that area nicely. So uh, I don't see any issues in here, but it's fine. But there is something. Where is it? In here? We've got something. Oh, what did I, what did I miss? Oh, a big splotch on the floor. Right there. Yeah. Okay, all done. All fixed. Okay, so it'll say, you know, uh, I've got to put a curtain in here. So you, what you do is you look at the menu to the right there and it'll tell you exactly what they want you to do. So you'll see that there's quite a few rooms in this house. In every room, I'll have a list of stuff I've got to do. Um, let me go to this. Okay, so if I go into this room, list will change and if you're not in the right room you won't have the right list so you know if you're looking for something and you're, you're stepping just out of the door and going where is it <laughs> point is you've actually got to be inside the room okay to get the list of the to-do list so i've just got to clean a window in here let's do that okay so i think that's all i need to show you for now um once you move along a little bit, you can start to do up properties and um, and sell them and uh, negotiate the price. So get those negotiation skills up and that will be uh, much better. That, that will give you much more opportunity to um, increase your profit in the end, right? And the more, you need more profit as you creep towards those bigger properties. And be prepared to put more time in as well. All right, so I'm just trying to get these easy jobs nailed. Um, here's another easy one, just to remove trash, clean the window, blah, blah, blah. All right, um, so some of them you'll feel like you put a lot of effort in and you just didn't get much reward. And that's absolutely true. <laughs> and it's the same for all of us, by the way. So. <laughs> So yeah, don't feel like you're alone. That's just the way the game is. Uh, some jobs don't pay very well and they do take more time, which is a bit frustrating. Am I supposed to get rid of that? No. Okay, but I am supposed to get rid of those and this little can. Okay. And as you do it, it will uh, disappear off your list. If you don't know, uh, you want to make sure what you're doing. All you have to do is go to tasks and you can click on the room and it'll tell you what you have to do. Now these are the things that I have to purchase. That, that's what I mean by the jobs. Be careful because you need to have enough money to be able to purchase these items as well. All right. So just be aware of that. Now I've done two um, out of three here and look at all this stuff I've got to buy. Okay. And not all of it is that cheap. So. You just need to make sure you've got a bit of money in the bank at all times so that you can go and do these jobs and um, not run into trouble. Okay, well that's all from me for tonight. I have um, 
I think I've explained most of the things that you need to know about uh, about how this game progresses. And I guess the next step is once you kind of are in the mode of purchasing more properties and doing them up, then you would in fact want to get the DLCs and start working on something different. Um, and uh, there's your scaffolding, by the way, for the uh, houses. It's in under this little roller. You want to go to ladders and scaffolding. So to paint the, the upper parts of the house, you can even get onto the roof if you want. <laughs> um, that's where you go. Okay, glass walls, windows, and that's where you get blinds and curtains. Let's have a look. Okay, and they all are, you can choose different colors that you don't have to have that color. So you choose your color. Okay. All right, well, that's about all I've got to show you for now. And um, I hope that you've enjoyed it. And all the best. I hope that you love this game as I do. I'm, I'm really having a good time with it, um, having lots of fun, and I uh, find it a very creative experience to play this game. So, thanks for joining me. I am Sephiria, and you are on the Game of 50 Plus channel. And remember, it's your game, play it your way. I will catch you on Monday with some more Stage of Decay and on Wednesdays for the Play and Explore series. And of course, next week we are doing a medieval game, but um, it is a different one to what I did previously. So it is either a, a castle builder or it is a, um, oh, what was the other one? A village builder. <laughs> Similar. So it's either one with occupants in a village or it's one where you're, um, oh, actually a castle builder is too, uh, I've got to say. So I have to play those through a little bit further, but um, I'll, I'll be presenting that to you next week. So I shall catch you then. Until then, take care. And um, Night Dirtus, thank you for joining me. And um, I will, uh, yes, I will be uh, playing through, trying to uh, learn more about these games for you so that I can share with you what I think. Now, the thing that bothers me about this is the cost of these DLCs. I think it's a little bit much. That's just my thoughts. Um, the base game is enjoyable enough as it is that um, you, you know, if you if you don't if you don't have the money, you can just enjoy it as is. There's no need to have feel like you have to expend any more on this. Um, this kind of sim. You, you can just you know, do the quests within the game as is and, uh, and have a really good time. Okay, see you next week. Bye for now.